Item number SCP-232-ARC Index Sumerian Goddess of the Dead Object Class Euclid SCP-232-ARC Special Containment Procedures SCP-232-ARC is to be kept in the center of an empty 20 by 20 meter room. The floors and walls must be made of white shadow reducing substances and the lighting should be multiple redundant recessed lamps set into the ceiling. Shadows are to be prevented from forming within 8 meters of SCP-232-ARC. Lights should be replaced as soon as possible when required, using the crawl space above the room to replace the bulbs from above. Should a full power outage, including the backup generator failure, occur, the entry will seal automatically. In the event of activity, those directly involved should be monitored as per Protocol 11B in the Security Clearance Database. SCP-232-ARC is suspected to use some of its victims to survey the surrounding area. Class 2 hazardous containment procedures should be maintained in the event of activity. Should the crawl space become inaccessible for any reason, a set of freestanding lamps outside the range of the object must be activated before attempting replacement of lights. Otherwise, the freestanding lamps are for testing purposes. Description SCP-232-ARC is an approximately 100 cm by 75 cm by 20 cm basalt relief statue depicting the goddess Erish Kegel being offered a liver by what is assumed to be an Otuku, a Sumerian demon known to retrieve the offerings sacrificed to Erish Kegel. Shadows that fall within an 8 meter radius exhibit unusual properties. Regardless of the temperature of the room, the temperature within a shadowed section will be at 10 degrees C. Personnel stepping inside a shadow within range of SCP-232-ARC have reported feelings of fear, melancholy, hopelessness, and numbness. There have also been reports of the feeling of being watched in the shadows, the sensation of claws or nails digging into the skin, and the sound of whispered voices in an unknown language. Injuries have been sustained in particularly large or dark shadows. SCP-232-ARC was retrieved from the Sumerian... Ruins near Tel Ibrahim, Iraq. Reports had come in of rejected. rumors of communication with the dead. The rejected. found mauled in a manner inconsistent with the abilities of the local fauna. Rejected. More common with the lunar cycle, with more instances of the effects of the object on nights of the new moon and fewer with the full moon. Upon entering the structure, the team found rejected. including lacerations on... Forensic evidence of the area showed no traces of blood or tissue within the range of the shadows that crossed the object. Object was transported to storage unit. Moved to site 19, 5, 7, 19. Level 4 authorization is required to unlock the fine lighting controls. The fine lighting controls are to be unlocked for testing purposes only. Addendum. In light of the incident on 21-19, all personnel who interact directly with the shadows around SCP-232-ARC must be given weekly psychological evaluations. See Incidents Report 232-ARC-1 for details. Level 4 authorization is required to unlock the fine lighting controls for any kind of testing. Incident Report 232-ARC-1 SCP involved. 232 ARC. Date 2119. Location SCP 232 ARC containment at Site 19. Description D 801 engineered an escape from his cell. He was found outside the airlock for SCP 232 ARC holding a bat while trying to force the door open. He had apparently also broken into the kitchens and made off with several beef organs which had been in storage and was carrying them in a paper bag, also from the kitchen. When the security attempted to stop him, he became violent, swinging the bat around erratically. Once subdued, he claimed that he needed to get to the statue and that the bag of organs were an offering to secure my place in Irkala. Investigation showed that D-801 had been exposed to 232-ARC more times than any other test subject and was among the first to hear voices.